as I told you in a previous video that in this video we will be learning the function draw but actually I thought first I should explain you the animation part then we will be proceeding ahead with the part the function draw so this is actually what an animation library so whenever you click this new animation button this dialog will get appear to you then there are so many options either you can upload an image from your computer or you can draw your own sprite or you can choose any of these animations of course you can choose a call So this is actually a ball. So now, if I want to get this, I want that ball to get implemented in my game. So what am I actually going to do? I will go to sprites, and then I will create a new variable that is ball. Next, I'm going to set animation that ball or set. So here actually we are creating a variable. So the same name of the variable should be written here. So I want that that variable should have this animation that is basketball run. Next, still it is not going to be implemented here because we need to add a uh, one block from the world that is draw sprites. So this block will actually draw all your sprites. If I run it, see it has been created, isn't it? But what if I put it before the, I mean, if I put it draw sprite first and then after green, then what will happen? It is not going to show me the code. Why is it so? Because first, what has the coder to actually has done? It has first created all the sprites. Right? The sprites are created, but then what has happened is, it has colored the sprites with green color. So the sprites are actually here, but they are not visible to us because of the screen color. So that is why we put background first. We write row sprite at the end. This is the reason and I wanted to give you each logic behind anything we do here. So just pay full attention here and then you would be a master in game life. And any other series if I put in my channel. So then this is actually what we can say this animation and then you can put many more and you can also explore it on your own and then we can just put many things more then we can also do that it can play a sound play a sound of course it will play a sound that I want Now let me run. Oh god, that was really stupid sound. So this is how we can just put sound. I choose it and then run. No. If I just click it through, then what will happen? If I do it fall, what will happen? Did you notice that whenever I was free uh, to then it was like so much the sound was actually doubled and it was like for the voice was in the mix. But it will only happen till now let me show you uh, suppose it will just happen if there are so many like diagram so this actually was this on this I wanted to explain you this block. Then what is this? Play speech. This will actually, you know why it was happening, why the sound was coming for so long? Because we had put in a function raw and I will explain you in the upcoming video why it was happening. Why was it 
coming so now if i again suppose put that play sound where where is it play sound and if i put it simply here and if i choose a sound it was board game No. If I choose it, no. Run it. No. Now it has stopped. But if I do true, if I had been true, then it will just say no, 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 no. 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 See. No. No. So actually, the difference between true and false is if I do it true, then the same sound would be repeated, and it will sing infinite number of times throughout the application. But if I do it false, then it will just speak it one time, whatever the sound is on. No. Now I stop. Now in the uh, earlier when we had tried of putting place count in our function verb, that time it was just showing it a number of times because I will explain in the upcoming video why was this so. What is so special in this function verb? 